Ale and I thought you might enjoy seeing some of the babies that we're feeding right now. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond. I have 22 species of parrots. I love parrots. If you want to be inspired, get blissed out, and learn how to have a better bond with your parrot, you're in the right place. If you're already subscribed, you already set your preferences on YouTube so that YouTube lets you know when the next video is published, usually the next day. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate that you keep joining my flock and I. So this is Ale Burije, or Ale for short. Ale is a white crown pionis. I adore him. He's about eight months old and he is a baby. Sometimes I still feed him, but generally he feeds himself. Don't you, sweetie? Yes. So Ale and I would, thought we would show you some of the babies we're feeding. Babies are so interesting. They all look like the same naked dinosaur when they're little. They're just different sizes. It's, it can be difficult to see what kind of species you, you know, you're looking at when they don't have their feathers yet. Their feathers really start to make them distinct. So here are some of the babies. Okay, there you go. I keep my dino babies. Wow, you're kidding. Wow. I keep my babies separate from everyone else. Here are the dinosaurs. Now they've been fed. That there is a linny. That bubble is just some air that went in when he was eating. It happens. Those guys are parrotlets. I think that's the other linny. But we also have two larger linnies. Look at them. They're gorgeous. I'm very excited about the babies. Oh, hi, sweetie. Now this little guy's gonna be looking for a home. Aren't you love? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So here's a couple of things that you might find interesting about the babies. I try to give them a clean bottom with every feeding because, you know, they poop. And, oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. And basically we want to keep them clean. I've heard that when you don't keep their home clean, their feet get dirty, so you can see. Oh, there's Linny's calling. Here you go, there you go, I gotcha. Let's get your feet under me. There. Um, you can see somebody got a little food on him, but that's okay. Hi, I, I just fed you. You know if you've got millet and seeds to start to eat on your own? And what about you, Doc? What are you doing? Hi. So here's a couple interesting things. With the babies, I try to keep things super hygienic. And I also try to address the baby's growth. And what I mean by that is, before this, everyone was in a little bin, which is like a nest. Look at that neck falling over. That's how they sleep sometimes. You know how babies are. They're made of rubber. And they just sleep however. They keep each other warm. Um, but I went ahead and I moved them to this little cage because I wanted the two older guys to have the ability to do things like that. Develop their ability to perch, develop their ability to climb, start to eat. 
and the little bin wasn't gonna really afford that for me. Now you notice I have a little plastic hut over them. Sometimes I use my fake tree stump, isn't that cute? Oh, and now Oliver's on my hand again. What's up, sweetie, what's up? You're so sweet, aren't you? Yeah. Well, of course, Oliver might be in Olivia. We don't really know. Um, I used the stump, which I did try to use for them, but there's so many of them that that works better. And it's interesting, even though it's clear, psychologically it gives them a place to hide and they like it. Oh, we're getting loud now. Another thing, with the babies, how often do I feed? Whenever their crops get low. The crops right here. And I just fed so I can feel food in there. Oh, you're all blurry. Yeah. Yeah. The minis are just so cute and so beautiful. So these are the ones I'm hand feeding right now. <gasps> Look at those wings. And that's why you need plenty of space in a cage. Look at that. Getting ready to take off. Of course, this one is practicing, stretching and developing muscles, important for their development. Okay, here's the other three minis in the next box. You can see one's like an albino, and I'm thinking the others might be blue, not really sure yet. Um, another interesting thing is that with the babies, even when they're with their parents in their box, and these guys are being fed by their parents in their box, one of the things is I clean the box out. I replace the dirty <laughs> wood chips so that the poop goes away sometimes, because there it is. And naturally there's gonna be some, but um, I think in the wild, the parents would bring fresh chips in. I'm not really sure, but that's what we do to keep uh, everything as sanitary as possible even when they're with their parents. And same thing in here. Here's the nest with the parrotlets. I did clean out their box, but it's gonna be time to clean it again. The trick is you don't wanna disturb mom and dad too much. Dad's on the left, mom's on the right, and mom's like, get away from my babies. And um, you could see the little tooth on that one baby right, right, on, right there, um, the tooth that's used to come out of the egg. All right, they say don't disturb us. And I can see that that baby's crop is full, so they're doing great. I give them food too.